I I was watching a video on with the pastor doing question and answer, and he was uh, talking about growth and um, and an aspect of growth and. And when I watch something that intrigues me, I I sit back so much and think about it. So um, when I sat back and thought about what I heard in the video uh, of this pastor doing question and answer um, for for his interns, um, I. Um, the Lord revealed to me that it's not how much you grow, but it's the qu the quality of your growth that matters. So, um, to be to to give an example, a church can have um, two thousand people in it. And those two thousand people be um, be like not be able to take anything or not be able to go through life um, because the quality of their growth of their growth is by quantity. Um, what what I'm calling quantitative growth whereas you could have a church of 10 or 20 people and then be the emotional the emotional yes the emotional emotionally strongest people ever because it and that's uh, qualitative growth so it's the quality of how you're growing so it's not that you're growing it's how you're growing are you growing in quantity like how much stuff you're accumulating or are you growing in quality the the what you're taking in or the quality of your Growth. So, a pregnant lady can gr their stomach can grow, but when that child comes out, uh, the quality that you put in that child is worth everything. So, the th the thing about um, going back to church growth for a second, it's not how many how many butts in the seats. Or how many campuses uh, you open, or or how large your churches. It's about the quality of what is happening in their church, it, in your church. So a church could say, uh, "Oh, um, two or two thousand people got saved this year," and those 2,000 people in a year are gone. Or a church could say 20 people um, got saved this year and the, those 20 people are changing the world. So, um, do you want to be a person of quality or quantity? So, do you want to collect all the stuff and all the cars and and all of the accolades and, and all the stuff from people and from the world around you? Or do you want to be a person of substance, quality, love? Uh, not quality, love. Love, joy, peace, patience. Do you want to have the fruits of the spirit? self-control, temperance. I know I'm missing a couple. So, do you want to be a person of 
quality or a person of quantity? Do you want to be a person who thinks through things when they have to and and measures things when they have to and right a, or right away acts when it's called for it? Do you want to be a person that responds to God's voice immediately when he says slow down or speed up or when he when when he says to you through his word um love others as i have uh, as i have loved you do you want to be a person who just quotes scripture or who who walks in the living word who embodies the living word cuz you could read scripture and word in words uh, and words on a page and then just be thing you check on your lips on on your list oh i read the scriptures today or do you want to be a person who literally le- reads the bible once in a while but is the walking word when people need a word of comfort or a word of joy, a word of peace, a word of understanding. It's not how much you do it, it's what it means to you when you do it or or how how deep you go when you do it. So do you wanna be the kind of person who says I'm praying for you and just say one prayer to that person or do you want to be the kind of person who walks with that person and lets that person call you at two o'clock in the morning when they don't know what to do when they're walking the floor when they're stressed out they call you for prayer so do you he said he's he's God is really telling me to ask you, do you want to be a person of quantity, like get all the stuff you can, like show all this and, and show like you have the perfect family when it's falling apart and you and your husband or wife are arguing every day or and your kids are a mess or do you want to be a person of quality that when you do spend time with their, your kids, you get knowledge they they get knowledge and understanding from you they they learn stuff about life from you they 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 learn how to walk with god from you i want to be a person of quality uh not just quantity because quantity is just about numbers quantity is just about um how how much you do something or how much stuff you have um and quality is the value of the stuff the value of whatever it is when you when you do do it so i may not do many facebook posts but when i do post it's a post of quality it's supposed to encourage. It's supposed to bring joy, bring healing, bring help, bring understanding, and bring people ultimately closer to Christ, or maybe get somebody out out of a sticky situation, or maybe give somebody hope that things will get better, that God is with them, that God loves them. So, I don't know about you, but this, 2021, I want to be a person of quality, not quantity. So it's not the number of posts I post, or it's not the number of people I have in the church. It's the quality of what they're getting from me, what they're getting from, from my church, or or what they're getting from what what I give to them when they re- run into me. 
Um, so what are people getting when they get you? That's another question that the Lord is having me ask. What are people getting when, when they're getting you? Are they getting a bunch of stress or a bunch of complaining or a bunch of negative emotions? Or are they getting love, joy, peace, patience, temperance, long-suffering? Are they getting the fruits of the Holy Spirit? Can you, like, even though you can quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but be the, but, but be the meanest, least loving person ever. And, and you could not know the Bible at all. You could even be an atheist and be the most genuine, loving, gentle person ever. So I, I'm just saying, be people of quality, saints, not just people of quantity. When you post something on Facebook or Instagram, make sure it's to encourage people, to give strength to people, to give hope to people, to give joy to people, and not tear people down. Let let not Christianity just be another religious thing that people think, oh, you can say I'm a Christian. Let it be a lifestyle. Live as Christ lived. Christian means light, like Christ. So if you are a Christian, then you are like Christ, not perfect. And we are, are striving and toiling every day. We all have struggles. We all have things. But as much as you can, be like Christ. Before you chew that person out at the grocery store, ask yourself, is this like Christ? And whatever you're dealing with right now, know that he knows where you are. And he he sees uh, what what you're dealing with and he and he wants to help you god wants to help you get over it but you need to endeavor to be a person of quality not quantity so it's not more 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 let's get 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 it's it's can i work with what i have i may only have one child but can I put into that one child something that will change the world or change lives? Or can I plant seeds in that child that will germinate and bring forth fruit that I could not even imagine? I may only have uh, 10 members, but can, can I... Can I... Um, breathe life into them where they're dead. Um, I may have a thousand members or two thousand members, but are they living in a place where they're thriving and moving victoriously through life, or are they just there to fill seats? In this next season, God is not caring so much about filling seats and getting more people. Although he wants everybody to come into the kingdom, but it's more important the quality of what they're, of what they're receiving when they come into your ministry. Not just, not, not just preaching it in that way. But are we, are we through our churches uh, serving how we should be serving? And I'm not talking about just outreach. Outreach is, is one thing and it's wonderful and we should do outreach. But what I'm thinking of is are we um, 
we often do we often donate money as individuals and as churches to different causes but we forget about the people at home who are struggling as well we forget about the people the seniors and the people with disabilities who are right in our congregation who need uh, help or who need uh, service or who need support. We're busy sending all our money to Africa when our neighbors across the hall are struggling for food. So, so it's about the qual quality, not quantity of things. It's not how many people get saved. It's about what are their lives like? Are we developing richer, stronger uh, uh, Christians to go through their lives with victory and with joy? And I know as, as if you are a pastor with the church, I know it's up to the person. You can only do what you can do. But are we giving people the tools that they need, not just the sermons? A sermon can be heard and forgotten about, but are we, are we providing people with the tools that they need to um, have deeper, richer lives? Or are we just preaching sermons and leaving them on their own to figure it out? Um, there's so much that the Lord is revealing, but I'm going to stop there right now. So, back to just, or, um, back to just everybody. So, do you want to be a person of substance and quality, or do you want to just be a person of quantity we want more and more and more and more. And quite often when we say we want more, we can't handle the stuff we already have. So, so basically, are you managing what you already have effectively? Or do you want more to just get more? That's the question that the Lord is asking today. Thank you so much, Father, for um, doing what you you have done, or what you are already done, uh, what you all have already done. And Lord, I thank you for just ministering to us today in a wonderful and special way. And Father, I praise you, and I declare that that this sermon will touch somebody's lives and they will become a person of quality of of quality and substance and not just of to get more stuff because stuff is great but only the quality of a person will last will last or god we praise you and we lift you up in the name of jesus amen so, guys, I will see you later. Bye.